Hey guys, it's me Jen here, Jen's Wild About Watercolour and I'm walking down my paddock to get some reference photos of my little horses. I have my Palomino Honey and the two little minis that you're about to see are Tex and Zorro. They're my friends, they just live here. So I thought today I would draw and paint a picture of these guys for you. And that's my daughter out in the paddock picking up their manure like a good little daughter that she is. <sighs> okay, so just come down she's got her winter woolies on little honey bunny so she's all fuzzy wuzzy about to drop her coat for the spring there's Texan Zorro <laughs> how cute are they hey okie doke so now I'll just take some footage of these guys and I'll go back up and do a painting of them hey bun bun hey bun bun Hello, hello bunny. Are we gonna do a headshot? Yeah, you got your smiley face on. Oh, there we go. Here's a cutie one. And a little taxi. <laughs> and a little Zorro. Righto. Bunny bun, come bun. Oh yes, hello. You've had your breakfast. You don't need any more. Okay, I'm about to go back up and start painting. I shall see you in a couple of minutes, guys. Okie dokie. So I'm sitting in my office and I'm just beginning a sketch of Honey Bunny. So you're just drawing a basic outline of her shape. Um, I've yeah, drawn a lots, lots and lots and lots of horses over my lifetime. I um, yeah, spent most of my childhood was the only thing I drew was mice and horses. So... <laughs> So yeah, so I love them. Um, yeah, we've got a farm here, so I've got we've got over the years we've had quite a lot of horses. So um, my husband's a horse person, I'm a horse person. Both my girls went to pony club, so yeah, we've had literally a property filled with horses. <laughs> so I know their their anatomy really well. So yes, yeah, so I'm drawing in her general features, and I'll be using my schminky watercolors today. Today, so. I'm just going in with a background wash of ultramarine blue and a little bit of cobalt blue that I had mixed on my palette from yesterday. So I'll just take that all over. Oops, had a bit of a hair there. That's all good. And then I go in over the top of that again just to darken it up. Just like that. Just gives it a lot more depth and a bit more Mate, we'll make her stand out more because she's a Palomino, so she's very light coloured. And now I'm popping a bit of burn umber into her eye. And now I'm going into her coat with just a wet mix of yellow ochre. Just take that all around all her golden areas. I'm trying to conserve as much white as I can just for the white parts of her fur. So now I'm using a little bit of transparent, diluted transparent sienna around the darker parts of her coat. And then a little bit of transparent umber just to richen the colour up a little and just deepen the colour around her eyes and take that down and I'll, it's, I'll move it around with a damp brush so it's not so strong So I just pop that into all of the darkest areas. Just create some definition. It's very hard with the light coloured horses to make them sort of stand out. 
And because she's got her winter coat, she's very light. In summer, she's golden, like a like a coin, a gold coin. But um, yeah, in winter, she goes into a white little fuzzy buzzy. So, <laughs> so she's just dropping her coat now for spring. So because um, we've just literally, it's just turned spring here. So I'm just doing the grey on her muzzle. She's got a little bit of grey, which I've made with Burn Umber Ultramarine Blue. Let's take that into some of the darker areas. So yeah, Honey's a little quarter horse. I've had her for quite a few years now. Um, we used to have Clyde's, or we've still got Clyde's tails. But, um, and as you can see in the video, I had that I have my, my friend's little miniature ponies here and they are just hilarious little things. They think they're human. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, so we've got, still got a paddock full of horses. So yeah, we've got one Clydesdale, two quarter horses and two minis at the second. So now I'm going in with a little bit of white gouache just around because she's, I've, I've missed a little bit. I got too close with the blue to her ears. So I've just tidied up around her ears with the gouache and I've put a little bit of grey in it just because um, her mane is quite dirty because <laughs> she's been rolling around and having a great old time. So I'll just put a bit of grey in just for the, the sort of shadowy dirty bits and I'll just go over that with a bit of gouache in a tick. So I'm going back in with a bit more transparent sienna now. Just to finish her off and now I'll do the gouache on the top just to highlight some whitey bits. And just put some fur around her ears. Go with a bit of burn umber just to darken up the darkest darky bits. Put her little eyelashes on. just about done i hope you've enjoyed this video um yeah i'd love you to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed it um and yeah i'll i'll pop up a couple of videos a week so i look forward to seeing you at the next video have an awesome day guys i'll see you next time